So if you're on this video, I'm assuming you're about to get braces and you wanna know what they don't tell you about braces. For those of you who are already new, my name is Deja. I make lifestyle, travel, and fashion content. For those of who are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I'm excited to have you here. So I do have a nice list here that's gonna, you know, keep us organized, keep us on track. First thing I have on my list is that your gums swell. When people that I saw have braces, I never noticed that their gums were swollen or that that's something you even deal with. My gums are just swole all around. And there's really nothing you can do about it. I've asked like the orthodontist, the dentist, they just like, yep, it's just the you know, thing with having braces. Like as soon as I got my braces on the next day, my gums had puffed up and swollen. And like when I try to um, floss in between them, they bleed. So there's nothing you can do about it. Be gentle with your gums. Don't be mad at them. Don't, you know, try to do anything crazy. It's, it's part of braces. And when your braces is coming off, as I was told, it should go back to normal. So I can't really speak for that because I still have my braces on. Next one is your teeth are sensitive and like I said, when I see people with braces, they just look cute. They look cool. They look handsome. Nobody never mentioned that their teeth was always really cold or really hot, like when you're eating things. So if you eat ice cream, you're going to feel like it. It's cold. It's cold. Something I did not know before I got braces. So just realize your teeth will be sensitive to cold things. And they don't have to stop you from eating, but you're just going to have like a brain freeze in your mouth. Especially when you're drinking water. Oh my gosh. Yes. Teeth are sensitive, guys. This is the truest thing ever and i promise to you guys i did not notice until i got these braces on my teeth you ready for this you will have yuck mouth until your braces come off there is nothing you can do about it your teeth will be dirty your mouth will be dirty you can do everything you will have to be the most thorough the most persistent and like person ever to have clean teeth while you have braces on now I'm, of course there's people out there who's probably like Really, 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 because I'm a clean person, but really, 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 really clean. Don't get aggravated. Very, very person. I mean, very, very patient to be able to clean your teeth after every single thing you eat, every little small thing you eat. When you eat, your food get trapped in between your brackets, in between your wires, in between your teeth. Food is stuck everywhere. Food is everywhere in your mouth. You can pick, use the pick. You can floss. You can, um... What is it called? Mouth washing, like, you know, what is that? Gargle. You brush your teeth. I guarantee you, some food will still come out every single time you do those steps. Your teeth is not 100% clean with braces. And maybe I'm not as clean as I think I am, but I promise to you guys, I can brush my teeth, right? After I ate, 20 minutes later, I'm upstairs and I'm finding food. Like, I'm like, what is that back there? And it's food that was just stuck behind bracket it just takes a lot to clean is what i'm trying to say because of that i brush my teeth i make sure my teeth are brushed i pick at them to make sure it's clean around the brackets but i'm not flossing i'm not speaking of flossing the next thing is flossing no one explained to me how aggravating flossing was until the day i got my braces i remember them teaching me how to floss i'm like why can't teach me how to floss i know how to floss and then the day came where i had to floss that was the last time i really did a floss because i was not i couldn't guys you have to take it up and have the patience to actually get it through. Come around, floss it, pull it out, go to the next one, floss it. Who's doing that? Clearly I'm not. Clearly y'all learned that I don't floss. And if you flossed your whole time having braces, I could never be you. I can't. So guys, if you get in braces, floss the day before because it's probably the last time you'll floss until you get your braces off. No, try to floss it every once in a month. And plus, you go to the dentist doing it, so I let them floss it, but they be half doing it because they be like, ugh. When I saw that you had braces, I was like, oh my gosh. So they don't even want to floss my teeth, so if they don't want to do it, you know I'm not going to do it every night. No. The next one is RIP to your cheeks. Your cheeks are going to hurt literally probably more than your teeth hurt because I don't, ugh. They gave me this little gel. They gave me one pack of gel, like a smoothing cream for my cheeks. Rest in peace to your cheeks. The wires will eat them alive. And I remember the dad got braces. They was like, oh, your cheeks are going to get stronger over time. So don't put wax on. Just let it poke your cheek. No, I'm putting wax on. Okay. Every chance I get, I put wax on. That thing hurts. And like I said, it's more painful than your teeth actually moving because... 
your your wire is poking the same spot in your cheeks over and over and over imagine you fall and scrape your hand right here right or any part of your body you just scrape yourself and there's a wire just doing this inside that wound that's kind of yeah you get it you get it and that's what it'd be like all over your mouth but really around the parts where you know the wires can come loose which is like mm, 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 mm. you'll see you'll understand once you um get braces but yeah your, your cheeks is done for they're done for wax is your best friend use that i know you heard that tip before so i really couldn't say that but i always heard about the pain of the teeth moving but i never heard about the pain of the cheeks i just heard wax was your best friend i'm like what is wax why is wax my best friend what does that even mean now you know how wax is your best friend because your cheeks won't be your best friend the next thing is the experience is not what you think think about it like this you see somebody with braces and all you can be like oh my gosh the color they teeth is getting straight they look so cool it matches the outfit but you don't think about the yuck mouth the cheeks being swollen or i mean the cheeks being um hurting the gums being swollen. you don't think about the process and let me tell you something two years of that limited on what you eating eating slowly having to open your mouth weird that is annoying it's cute to look at them it's cute to look at braces on somebody else but when you have them yourself it's really not the same it's like i legit thought braces was going to be the easiest thing ever i thought having braces was going to be so fun i was going to be the cool kid like this was my mentality in high school clearly i got braces after i was in high school so yeah but this was my my thought process when i was in school like everybody gonna think i'm cool i'm gonna have blue green no one cares when you're an adult okay guys i just wanted to hop in here and say i'm not trying to downplay braces braces and i have a love hate relationship more hate but there's some love in there too like braces is beautiful and you do get straight teeth out of it i'm just mainly speaking to the point of things you don't know when you're getting braces like you know when you get braces your teeth are going to be straight you know you know that i'm telling you things that nobody told me that i had to figure out on my own and the reason why i'm sorry to get these things taken off that is the purpose of this video so yes i'm complaining a lot but also to let you guys know what i truly do not like about braces seriously though braces is awesome i'm so happy that i was able to get them i'm so happy my teeth will be straightened at the end of this and i hope they don't go back because i don't want these ever again i'm definitely doing the visit line next i can't i can't i can't oh the big thing is eating what you want i hear a lot of people say oh you can't eat this you can't eat that i eat what i want but let me let me be honest I, I'm not really like a Jolly Ranchers type of person. I'm more of like a chocolatey girl. So like the scariest things I probably eat is like the nuts that's in Snickers. You'll know what you don't want to eat because one, remember I said your teeth are sensitive? Sensitive to like you have cavities. So when you eat sugar, you like, like, <laughs> like it feel like a cavity. But I don't have any cavities because I went to the dentist and they said I'm good. So I'm confused. But yeah, that's a part of that teeth sensitivity thing I'm guessing. Sticky candy like gummy worms, you'll know. One, you're not going to even want to be cleaning them. So yeah you, you'll you pick up on it but i pretty much eat what i want i know eating is like a big old thing and everybody say oh dog, do, do, do what you want do what you feel comfortable with my orthodontist i'm able to um if something breaks i'm able to get it changed for a couple times free let's be honest i've never broken anything the only thing that ever happened is a rubber band popped and that made my wire come loose it wasn't my fault so see eating what you want just be cautious don't be going ham the next thing i realized this is a good tip seeing your teeth shift is like the coolest thing ever it's kind of like watching a pregnancy you know the baby grows like this is nothing okay that was an extreme analogy but it really is so cool i remember looking at my first picture like oh my gosh my teeth it's like getting wider so what they did for me is they put the braces in but they stretched my teeth out to make space and then they pushed them back in so i have pictures my teeth is like my mouth looks bigger because it like it's stretched out and then it goes back in and then you see the teeth turning it's just so cool so that was so exciting to see like right now i really haven't had any big shifts because they said my teeth is just learning muscle memory right now next thing i have is when you first get your braces your words will sound weird i just sounded weird talking but over time your mouth will get adjusted to you know having the braces in and it will complement because when I first got them on, I was like, oh, these feel weird. But now it's like, it's my life. I can't imagine taking them off now. No, I can't. I don't. I, I do not like braces, guys. <laughs> I do not. This experience was not fun. Like, I'm counting down the days they can come off. Your mouth will adjust to the um, speech problem that you're going to get when you first get them. Now, my next one is the pain wasn't that bad. So, this, of course, depends on everybody's pain tolerance. But people really did over-exaggerate how much braces were painful. 
To me, braces is more annoying, more aggravating, more time consuming than painful. Yeah, like I really didn't experience any pain. Okay, so let me. So when you get your braces put on, that's the most pain I felt when I first got them put on. It was so tight, it, I couldn't really bite on anything. That was probably the most painful there. But that was months ago. Like if you can get past that first painful, you'll be good when they tighten it up. You get your braces tightened every six weeks. At those appointments, yes, it's is more uncomfortable than painful. It's not really painful. Cause when I think about pain, I think about saying, ouch. But to me, it's just like, I wanna hold it to help the pressure. It's not really, it's just uncomfortable. So yeah, you can kinda like, you can work with it. But see, I might have a high pain tolerance too, so I don't know, but I included this just in case. I was sitting here thinking, how can I explain how it feels to get braces? And the best example I have is take your hands and just push down, push down on your teeth. That's kind of how it feels. Of course, that's a very minimal example, but that pressure that you feel right there, imagine that a little bit times 10, not too much. It depends on your pain tolerance. That's kind of what it feels like. Just all this pressure is pushing against your teeth. That's the best I could explain it. That's for anybody who want to just know how it feels. My last tip, which I hope this video isn't too long for you guys, and I hope you guys stay to the very end, is the aftercare. I never thought about that your teeth can go back. Like, I didn't pay all this money for my teeth to go back. So that means I done went through this tedious, annoying process or uncomfortable process of braces. And now I have to wear retainers. Like, I thought this was just going to be a permanent solution. They want me to get a wire at the bottom to hold the bottom teeth together. Like, what is this? What is life? But they like, your teeth is just a muscle. Just like you got to keep working out. <laughs> So really it should have been cheaper, right? Because I'm doing all the work. I am literally the orthodontist at this point because I have to wear a retainer and keep everything straight. And I didn't think about that when I first got my braces. I was like, okay, I'm gonna have braces then I thought my teeth gonna be straight. No, no. My boyfriend had braces. Cause he don't wear his retainer. His, little, his top is messing up. And see, I don't want that. I don't want straight teeth for just two years. Yeah, there's people I know who've had braces like who had a gap and stuff and the gap came back. I don't want, that's insane to me. Like I just did not know that. I guess since now that I'm saying that, I guess I did know that, but it like I was saying earlier, I was so focused on the end process of having straight teeth. I didn't think about that you have to do this for yourself in the end. Absolutely insane. But that's the reality of it. Let that sink in. And while y'all letting it sink in, go watch these videos that I'm putting up here. Go watch those videos. I have a couple videos coming. More braces content is coming. I think my next two videos are braces videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this list. If I left anything and you wear braces, put it down below because I'm sure I can relate. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.